It marks the last day of Nurses Month, and while thousands are leaving the field because of COVID burnout, some are just now entering the profession. And many others are specializing their nursing skills. And tonight, Homa Bass shows us how a new program at Case Western Reserve University is giving students a chance to chase their dreams. Isn't it crazy when your life comes full circle? Yeah. For Shakia Bruner, that looks something like this. And make sure you're in the center. Age 18, she was hospitalized for an illness and met a certified registered nurse anesthetist, or CRNA. Just a really nice guy. He seemed to love his job. At 18, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, and I was like, man, I want to be that happy. So I did research and that's where the story started. <laughs> and here's where her story has taken her more than a decade later. There you go. You're almost there. Shakia went to nursing school, got her bachelor's, worked for years in an open heart ICU, all with the goal of getting into CRNA school. There you go. But rejection after rejection kept pushing that dream back. Same story for Maya Williams. Being denied acceptance multiple times, you just feel like, Maybe it's not for me. Maybe it's not my path. So getting accepted into this program really changed all that. This is called LEAP. It stands for the Leadership Excel and Achievement Program at Case Western Reserve University. It just graduated its first class and is a one year course for nurse anesthetists before they get accepted into a three year doctoral program to nearly a dozen partner universities all over the country. LEAP is the brainchild of Dr. Sonia Moore. Medical schools have some very similar type programs, but this is the first of its kind in nursing and it's starting in anesthesia. How cool was this program? How special was it to be part of it? The first one. <sighs> Life changing. Not only are they giving skilled students a path, they're focusing on diversity. Because with about 64,000 nurse anesthetists in the country, less than 10% are minorities. All nurses care for patients, they love patients, they want to help them and treat them, but it's that idea that someone knows exactly what you're talking about from a very similar experience. Racial disparities in healthcare have been well documented. The National Academy of Medicine finding that minorities often receive lower quality healthcare when compared to white people, even when age, income, insurance status, and severity of conditions are all comparable. That's why sometimes having someone look like you care for you can be so important. It's almost like an unspoken language. In a few weeks, Shakia and Maya and others will start a 36 month long journey to become CRNAs, a dream they've been working toward for more than a decade. Shakia will actually do her clinicals at the same hospital in Canton that saved her life. I feel a lot of emotions. I'm anxious, I'm nervous, I'm excited, but overall, I feel prepared. I feel prepared. I feel like passion is like a compass. You go through obstacles, you go through journeys just to get to where you wanted to go. And I feel like my passion is what fueled me to keep going. Reporting in Cleveland, Homa Bash, News 5.